Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to wrap instruments for autoclaving. So what you're going to need are your instruments, a cotton ball, an indicator strip, and a pen or a sharpie. So first, you have to wash and sterilize your instruments, so these are already washed. Next, you're going to put the cotton ball inside anything with hinges. So our scissors here have hinges, and we're going to place it in between like this just so that our instruments stay open while they are autoclaved. Um, some facilities don't like having cotton balls in the hinges. Some would prefer gauze being wrapped around uh, the tip of the scissors. Or some places don't want a cotton ball at, at all and you just leave the hinges open. So check your facility for their preference. Next, you're gonna write the date and the operator's name on the indicator strip and you're going to place it in with your instruments. And you're going to place your instruments in the center of the diamond that if you were to turn your paper like this into a diamond, it's right square in the center. So you're going to grab one edge of your, of your autoclaving paper. Here we have two papers and you're going to bring it up towards the top making sure that your instruments are nice and snug at the bottom. And you're going to make a triangle, turn your diamond into a triangle. Next, you're going to grab the left or right side, oh, sorry. You're going to grab the top of the paper and bring it down and making sure the top of your instruments are still covered. Next, you're going to grab the left or right side of the paper. Sorry, I tried to skip a step earlier. And you're going to bring it towards, feel where your instrument is with your hand, and bring the paper all the way towards the center. And flatten it down. Next, you're going to grab that same paper that you just folded and fold it outward to make a little tab and you're going to fold it. Now you grab the other side. Again, feel where your instruments are and fold it right against where your instrument is. We're trying to make sure that the instruments don't move at all while they are being cleaned. Okay, so we need to find it out. Next again, we're going to take this side of the paper and bring it inward to make a little tab. If you have excess, like on this case, you'll just do it one more time. Fold in and fold out so that you have a nice little tab. Because the whole purpose of these tabs is so when it's open, you open it very easily with very little touching. Okay. Next, you're gonna grab the instruments and fold them over themselves, like so. You should have a nice little square or rectangle, depending on the shapes of your instruments. And now you see we have a little tab, and this looks like a little envelope. So we're coming towards the last steps here. Just fold the paper over. Make one last triangle at the top, because we're going to make a little tab. And you see in here, there's a little pocket right here in this space, you're going to put this tab inside that little pocket that you made. And you can see the little tab sticking out from under. Alright, so if you were to move this around, you can feel that your instruments do not move. And that's exactly what we want. I'm going to make this a little tighter up here. I'm going to make the tab a little bigger. Now you're going to grab your indicator tape, fold a little corner over itself so that it's easy access. And you're going to tape this little tab closed. 
And at the end, all you would have to do is write what type of kit you made or the instruments that are inside it, name, date, initial, and it's ready for autoclaving.